Hey, good evening YouTube. Today I want to talk about the excellent uh, Leatherman OHT, which means uh, one-handed tool. Uh, to get started, let's, let's go over the uh, feature list. Now this model does come with uh, spring action uh, needle nose pliers, as well as uh, regular pliers. It does have a replaceable uh, wire cutters, which are located right here. And then you do have your, uh, your hard wire cutter uh, right here. It does come with a uh, Phillips screwdriver. A small screwdriver, and then you have your large screwdriver, and you have your your can and uh, bottle opener right over here. And um, it does have a, a lockout feature, so um, if you want to lock your pliers inside the tool, that way they don't slide out. It does come with a a little screw head that screws in right on right on the side of the tool right here. Um, I lost mine, <laughs> so uh, that feature I don't know. Not a big fan of it because I, I wish that uh, there was some way uh, to attach the lockout feature to the tool instead of having one little tiny uh, screw head which is easy to fall out. Now it does come with a, uh, a, a serrated knife and uh, your regular knife blade. And these knife blades are the 154 uh, CM. Uh, both are, you know, well, these tools are stainless steel. And then it also comes with the uh, saw blade. And then there is a, a cleaning rod, uh, blush, uh, brush adapter that I'll show you guys here in a second, as well as your uh, cutting hook and an oxygen tank wrench right here. Now let me show you how this uh, cleaning rod tool works. Uh, basically, it just screws into the tool. Let me uh, close these up so I don't cut myself. And all these blades are, are locking as well. Alright, screw in your cleaning rod brush right here. Try this one. Alright, there we go. And then I got a uh, <clears throat> my AR brush uh, attached currently and this works pretty great uh, you can get in there uh, clean your M4 or M16 or you know any other rifle uh, this is just the one that I you know most likely use the most and it is kind of a nice feature like I said I haven't really found it I need yet to use it uh, more often than not I do uh, enjoy uh, the one hand operation for uh, opening the pliers it's pretty easy and a lot of times I have a flashlight in one hand, so it's nice to have a tool that I can uh, close and open one-handed so with just the uh, flick of the wrist. And another feature that's, that's great uh, is that all the blades are, are easily accessible. And as you can see right here on the tool, each blade is, is kind of engraved into the side of the tool, so you could just feel. And so if you're operating this tool in the dark nighttime, you can, you can find your blades. Uh, you know whatever you whatever you want to use everything is is pretty accessible uh, which is nice so you can just kind of feel like okay I want to grab my fixed blade fill it and you can open it up you know one-handed and it locks and you can also close it one-handed too so uh, really great tool uh, this one's actually issued to me uh, in the military and I, I use it every day um, I haven't had any, any uh, I, I really, the only complaint that I have is just the locking feature is kind of cheap, but again, I don't really like the locking feature because then you can't, even if you have the uh, the locking uh, tab screwed in just a tiny bit, you can't, you know, flick open the tool, so I don't really understand the point of that. Um, that said, it does come with the, uh, a decent uh, sheath. Now this one is uh, does have the uh, little uh, snap and you, you can attach it to a uh, molly gear. However, it's not so great for attaching uh, to your belt. So I, I do wish that um, it had an optional um, uh, belt holster, uh, or sorry, sheath that came with it. Um, much like the one that I got on the uh, Leatherman Charge. Now, between the OHT and the uh, Leatherman Charge, uh, I, I think both are excellent. Um, I do, I find myself using a lot of the features with the uh, one-handed tool uh, just as a matter of convenience you know it works out pretty great um, 
Because like I said, a lot of times, if I'm working on aircraft or something, I'll, I'll have a flashlight in one hand, and, and it's nice just to be able to, to grab you know the pliers one-handed, or uh, more often than not, um, I'm mostly using the blades on this tool the most. Whereas I find myself using the, uh, the charge a lot less, and um, usually like I'll, I'll carry uh, you know, a pocket knife on me as well in addition to this. So I found when I would carry the charge, I would always grab for the pocket knife just because it was easier to flick open, you know, one-handed. So it, it is an appreciated feature with the uh, OHT. And uh, the only weakness that I see with the tool is that um, the pliers aren't as strong uh, just because you have these little rivets right here and here as they are on uh, some of their other tools such as like the, the Charge um, or even the original Leatherman. And so there is some sacrifice for the convenience of the one-handed opening uh, features. However, um, my entire shop we use these OHT uh, tools and you know what? They're excellent. It's held up to uh, military abuse and use and I really have no complaints. This is definitely uh, my, one of my all-time favorite Leathermans. And so we'll see how it holds up. Uh, that said, you know, we've really uh, kind of torqued down a lot using these uh, these pliers. And you know what? It, it's lasted. So, you know, I tip my hat to a Leatherman. Uh, this tool is uh, exceptional. And it has a lot of features, you know. I, I don't think you can go wrong with this tool. So if you have any questions, just hit me up in the comments. Uh, and I'll do a upcoming review on the uh, Leatherman Charge here in an upcoming uh, video and give you uh, my thoughts. But as far as a uh, heavy duty uh, military issue multi-tool, uh, you know, this thing does everything that, that I want it to. Now, uh, there is one feature that I wish that they would have added to the OHT. And that is I wish they had a, a capability to use their, uh, their bit sets. Just because it's nice to have more options than just uh, a Phillips screwdriver and a flathead. Um, so that would be my only uh, thing that I would recommend to Leatherman. If anyone's watching this, um, please consider adding that feature. Uh, I'm sure there's one of these things that, you know, maybe I could, yeah, I could sacrifice this guy. And if, you, if they just made an adapter to use the, the bit heads, uh, this thing would be perfect. All right. Thanks, you guys. You guys have a good day.